What's going on, y'all? Welcome to KISU University. Keep it a stack, university, man. Get your pencil and paper out, man. And I ain't talking about this, man. I'm talking about this, man. Put that holy water in your system, y'all. Hey, man, so we get... So this been... Wouldn't say a topic of discussion, though, but it's been kind of on my mind and has been said and other videos, other channels. So, friends, I keep seeing young people on here, man, that's like 25 and younger. Talk about, I don't have no friends. I need friends. Now, I made a video in regard to how to achieve that if you really wanted friends. But let me make this video right here. Look, if you were a different type of individual, as some say, would like to call themselves a real individual, you having a plethora of friends, it's not going to happen. Now, contrary to popular belief, people gravitate to the fake. When I see a nigga with a lot of friends, I just think this nigga fake. And when I see somebody with a lot of friends, I see a whole lot of conflict. You see, me, I know a whole bunch of people. And I have people that play different roles in my life. But for somebody, for me to call a true friend, two or three. And them is the people that I've met and have been knowing for over half my life. You see, y'all got to understand the difference between an associate and you need to understand the difference between friends. I recommend you seek associates. They may serve a different purpose. Like I had people, man, in a community that I just deal with when it come to boxing. I had people that I deal with when it come to business. Uh, you name it, I have certain people in every category that I can go ahead and deal with to help reach the goal that I'm trying to go ahead and reach. But that true friend, I hate to break it to y'all, it's not going to be many. Some of y'all may only have one, two. That's really true. Your friends, that's really the definition of what a friend is. See, some of y'all don't really know what a true definition of what a friend is. So y'all label all these people your friend and then end up getting disappointed in the end. Now, I believe I've covered this topic of what a friend truly is. But that's why y'all leave room for, oh, man, how, how can somebody be your friend and they hating on you? And they encourage you to do wrong. They don't have your best interests at heart. They're not selfless. All my friends, the two friends that I can tell you that's really my friends, who I am today, they have a big part in that. One friend saved my life on many occasions by just the advice that this man had gave me. One friend helped give me a tool that changed my life and helped establish what I truly want in life, which was freedom. And he took the time, long nights, to help me understand this skill that can help change the rest of my life. <laughs> Now, that's real homies right there. You can't even take your busy around your friend without him lusting over it. But they said friends. See, I don't know how to judge character and judge true friendship. And quite frankly, like I tell y'all, you would never ever have a lot of true friends. But uh, some of y'all will have a lot of associates. See, I don't feel comfortable, man. Going out with people, man, that I know ain't rocking with me. 
You know what I mean? Like I was saying, man, uh, me and the homie, man, a while back, man, he was like, man, every time I'm around you, I know everything going to be good because I know if some pop off, it's going to be cracking and me and you going to go down to either we accomplish our goal or we we just going out. Cause I'll stop. That's my homie. Because we done been through many things, many trials and tribulations for us to know that, hey, this nigga ain't going to fold under no circumstance. And we've been tested many a times. You and your homies ain't never, ever really been tested like that for you to even know if this truly your homie. That's why I can sit over there and tell you two homies. Because them two homies been tested. And they never fought it. In all reality, you don't need, if you got one good friend, that's all you need. Because if you own your purpose and what you desire to have in life, your friends and yourself are going to distance. All my homies, man, done messed around and got married, kids, got their thing going on. So even though we still homies, I can call them to this day. We, because they got their own lives to live, so do I. So we don't talk as often anymore because we developed lives of our own that we need to live. If a nigga got time to hang out all day, you need to reevaluate what you're doing with your life, homie. Should no nigga be having time to hang out all day? You shouldn't wake up every day with just free time like that. You need to get up, man, and get a purpose and get something going. Your life depends on it. Your future depends on it. You dig what I'm saying? So, don't worry about friends. Trust and believe you're going to know when you really got a real friend. And it takes time to understand that. It takes time to realize that. That's the that's a that's a relationship that got to develop over time for you to understand. Oh, that's my true friend. A friend indeed. Not everybody your friend, homie. So y'all go here, you understand me, and let that go here and get on your cranium. Life is just going to happen, man. Now, I know we live in a time, man, where a lot of y'all couldn't experience life the, like the way that I experienced life. Because we live in a time where everybody's life is on the phone, on social media, on the internet, or whatever they call it, metaverse or whatever. So people don't have the experiences that us, myself, and older people might have done had. So you got to, so you ain't got no choice but to maybe take my word for it or experience it yourself and like, damn, he was right. Some of y'all gonna have to get spanked because y'all hard of hearing, y'all, y'all hard headed. Like grandmama said, a hard head make a soft ass. So yeah, man, like, quit worrying about a friend because you ain't got to push for that. That's just going to happen because whatever it's going to be is whatever it's going to be. And if this was meant to really be your homie, your man's a hundred grand, or even from a woman's perspective, yo, you know what I'm saying? Your woman is a hundred grand. It's going to happen. And it's going to happen organically. But anywho, man, that's my time, man, for today, man. Y'all go ahead, man. Y'all know what to do, man. I shouldn't even have to tell you to like something like this, man. Like that thing, man. Y'all want me to go ahead and blow up bigger than what, I, than what I'm at right now? 
Yeah, all y'all gotta do is just hit that like button. It's as simple as that. We out.